welcome to Weeby Jelen. I'm Jeff, and on today's video, I normally review whiskey, and I'm making an exception today only because I had a friend over a couple weeks ago who happens to be a tequila aficionado, and um, he sips on tequila, so he drinks, you know, reposados and anejo. Not so much about the, you know, whiskey shot, shot, shots, you know. It's more about, you know, enjoying some really good tequila. Kind of like how myself and some of our other friends enjoy really good whiskey, or whiskey in general. And um, so he brought over this particular bottle. And the name might throw you a little bit, but this tequila, it was outstanding. I mean, I, from, from the moment I, I went to take a sip, and I caught a whiff of the nose, I had to stop and, and really take a better, you know, breath of the nose and really, really enjoy this tequila. I was surprised. It is a Reposado, 40% alcohol by volume, so it's an 80 proof. Um, it actually is from here locally. At least it says it's uh, imported by Black Rock Spirits Seattle, so it is... Produced, produced and bottled in Mexico and imported by Black Rock Spirits here in Seattle. So it's somewhat local. Um, so I'm not sure if you can get this in, in your area where you may be. If you can, I would definitely suggest grabbing a bottle. So I'm about to reveal the name. <laughs> it's a, we thought it was funny when he, I thought he was joking when he, um, told me the name and I had to go and grab the bottle and, and take a look for myself. So here we go folks. It is Sparkle Donkey. <laughs> and, and it's not a joke. I mean it's a funny name but it's not a joke. This tequila is outstanding. And it's a fairly, it's under $100 for a Reposado. Um, it averages here about $60. Um, I was able to get it on sale at a local grocery store here uh, for about $30 it was on sale uh, which was a steal so yes I did buy more than one bottle um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this if I can if it doesn't require a knife um, so the bottles I brought I uh, purchased earlier uh, it was a twist, cap, twist top this happens to be their 257 anniversario I really doubt it's 257 years but uh, you never know it says El Burro Espacalo not sure how legit that is but nonetheless it's a great tequila okay so unlike doing shots with some of your more well-known tequila brands this particular tequila I would recommend sipping on and enjoying um, not that I'm against shots but this really tastes really good like it's not something you just want to take a shot of and and get down right away like some of the harsher tequilas you drink in high school not that I'm condoning high school drinking but as a reference point um, so like sniffing a whiskey, it, it, so my experience with this was we were barbecuing and he handed me a cup with some of this in it and said, here, you know, hey, here, try this. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll try it because I know he's, you know, well knowledgeable about tequila and, and selecting tequilas and he wouldn't just pick up some nasty tasting tequila. So, you know. I uh, grabbed the glass and took a sniff and as I was bringing it up to my nose I took a sniff because it was uh, unintentional you know so you know it's not like it was a whiskey and I was intentionally nosing it I just happened to be going in for a sip and I caught a nose of it and right off the bat it, it, it smelled like like I had some kind of like a lemonade or like a, some kind of citrus juice in my glass. It didn't smell like tequila. Uh, I mean, 
you know, the alcohol per volume is only 40%. So it's not like I smelled like, whoa, tequila, you know. It was kind of like, whoa, what is this? You know, I, I mean, I knew he handed me a glass of tequila or a cup. That, you know, who am I kidding? It was a barbecue. So he handed me a red Dixie cup of tequila. And, but right off the bat, I recognized that this was something special. I'm not saying it's top shelf, best tequila ever. I'm just saying that as someone who doesn't necessarily go for tequila when I'm planning to sit down and, and sip on something, um, this definitely got my attention uh, that day. See, and even on the taste, it's like, you know it's tequila, but there's this almost um, like a cream soda taste to it. You know, not real sweet, maybe like a diet cream soda. But it's just weird how it has that, has that, um, like that multi cream soda flavor, you know, like, like you get out of a, um, like an ice cream soda, like, like a root beer float kind of thing. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, I mean, I do appreciate good tequila. I mean, my wife, she enjoys reposados and anejos. Um, so, you know, we've had a few bottles that, you know, cost us more than the average bottle of tequila. But this is enjoyable. So, for the price point, and if you want to get a reposado that you can... Maybe you're not a whiskey drinker, but you know your friends or your significant other is, and but you're more of a tequila drinker, and you want something to sip on while they're sipping on their thing. Go out and get some Sparkle Donkey if you have it in your area. It's a great tequila. It's only forty percent, so you can sip on it for a while, and the flavor is great. The price point is great. The nose is great. Yeah, it's, uh, I can't say enough about it. Sparkle Donkey, go out and get some and enjoy it responsibly. And with that, I just ask that you subscribe to our channel, like this video, sign up for notifications, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.